And this is where the identities were born. So you're trying to evaluate exactly the sine of 13 pi over 12. So you're going to have to break those up into known angles, or radian measures anyway. Now this is an art and a talent. You're going to have to practice to get good at it. Looks like 13 is 10 and 3. And both of those are over 12. Reduce them. Oh yeah, that looks familiar. Looking good. Nice. Now what? We're going to expand that out using the sum of sine angles. All right. That's the sine A cosine B minus plus, yeah, there you go. All right, cosine A sine B. Now, we're going to put those in exactly. We're going to match our A's and we're going to match our B's. All right, all right, good, good, nice. That's B, all right. And then finish him. Oh, boy. There you go. Now, we need to evaluate those guys. What's the sine of 5 pi over 6? Half. All right, it's in the second. It's positive. And then the cosine, yeah, over 4s. People know those. And now you goes. Ah, that one's negative because it's in Q2. Now, let's clean up those fractions. One last step. They have a common denominator. Adam, that went much better than the last one. Good job.